very much for your company. It is still news desk. My name is Kimini Nyamani Amana. Let's start off with uh, World Day to Combat Desertification and Drought 2014. Now, the theme for this year's uh, celebration is ecosystem-based adaptation and it has a slogan land belongs to the future let's climate prove it the 2014 world day to combat uh, desertification highlights the benefits of mainstreaming sustainable land management policies and practices into our collective response to climate change sustainable land management increases both community and ecosystem resilience while improving the human condition particularly in the dry lands. I'll head to the telephone line now and speak with National Coordinator for the Global Environment Facility, George Orchison. Hello, George. George, you're welcome to the program. Thank you. Right, and so George, uh, let, let's start off with you know the, the slogan for the celebration: "Land belongs to the future." Let's climate proof it. Uh, uh, tell us more about this. Hello, I can't hear. I mean, the line is not very clear at all. Right. Now, let's see if if we can uh, if you can hear me this time. Let's look at what we are doing here in the country uh, to observe the day. Can, can you call another line? Or, Perhaps or, we'll try um, that again. Uh, George Watson's line is absolutely patchy. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll fix that phone line and get him back over the telephone. But to come on the program, we'll take a look at the damage on the St. Chi Road four months after uh, use. And then also... Is the Chinese Yuan our savior for the fallen city? We'll find out as well. And then, the bit I don't want to talk about, the fact that the Black Stars lost against the United States of America, two goals to one. And, well, is that it? Have we lost hope? We'll find out when George Ada Jr. joins us here in the studio. What's the future holds for us as a country uh, representing, represented by the Black Stars at uh, the World Cup in Brazil. But um, right, right now, uh, we'll see what we can do about uh, the phone lines. In the meantime, large sections of the road from Japan to St. Cheap Ferry have been washed away four months after it was opened for use by motorists. Now, the 5.9 kilometer stretch has now become a death trap as the recent rains have exposed the noticeable poor work done by the contractor uh, ussuya ghana limited the road is currently being used as one of two alternatives to parts of the eastern region and the volta regional capital hall in particular now following and, and this follows the closure of the adome bridge on march 10 2014 and it, as you know it, it, the bridge is going to be closed till 2016. And travelers to Ho and other parts of the country through the eastern corridor are ferried by pontoon from Atimpoku to Akrade, where the alternative route was constructed for light duty vehicles. And so they, they will connect at Japan to continue their journey. The other option for travelers to that part of the country is the Ho Sugakopa Road. Right, so let's talk about the St. Chief Road now. Uh, Jerry Chatro Modi is a, a journalist on this beat from myjournal.com, and he's joined me here in the studio. Uh, pleasure that you're here. Thank you. Sir. Tell us about this road. Okay, the St. Chief to the draw, it starts from Drapon Junction actually mm. to towards the ferry where you have the ferry, and then it continues from the new Akrade to the Akosomo main road. Mm. But the portion where uh, we're talking about has to do with the drop on junction to the Sinti Ferry. I see. And I mean uh, you could see you could see the, the the defects that have started appearing on the road and it is it is quite dangerous. It's mm. taking almost half 
of the lane one of the lanes you know is almost gone and once the rain starts in, the, 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 the rains are beginning to come mm. in now um, if nothing is done at this particular um, point it will be very very dangerous for road users I see, I mean, I've seen some pictures and hopefully it in a bit will show to our viewers as well. But which parts of the road am I seeing now? Okay, uh, what you're seeing now actually has to do with the portion that is almost, that gets you closer to the ferry um, station, the ferry site. Okay. So from, from there, it wouldn't take you more than um, a minute for you to get to the ferry site if you're coming from Chuapong. But then, if you, you're moving from Senchi, it should be about uh, the same distance. It's in a curve. This particular one is actually in a curve. That makes it even more dangerous. Mm. You know, so if you're driving there at night, you know the ferry works till 10 p.m. over the week weekend. Mm. So if you're driving there from um, 7 or 8 p.m. to that time, it is very, very dangerous mm. at that time. I, I'm looking at the other picture when, when you took a longer shot. Mm. And I mean, for me, I'm like, okay, we can, can't we easily dodge this one? But you travel to the road. Yeah. Share your experience with us. If you're, this one, if you're trying to dodge this one and there's an oncoming vehicle, mm. uh, it makes it even, you know, more dangerous because m majority of the vehicles that are ferried are the heavy-duty vehicles. Mm. And you can imagine if you're avoiding, you no, know, usually if you're doing an overtaking on such a road and there's, there's um, a heavy-duty vehicle coming, it, 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 it's dangerous. So if you have to do this, and you are dodging the pothole or you're dodging it, it's almost like a trench now what you're seeing is like a trench mm. and there are a couple of them along that road uh, they usually you see them in a curve where they have a bridge on the on the road or a culvert there that's when that you see the defect more uh, you see you see them come up you know um, visibly w was it that easy for you traveling that road um, it, it was, uh, apart from this, there are potholes that have also started developing on that stretch of road. Mm. And um, it, it, the road is actually smooth, but for these signs that are beginning to show up, I mean, you'd have said, you'd have said that the road is smooth. I, if you were to project, would you say it could last us the two years the Adome Bridge will be closed? From what I'm seeing, if nothing is done um, at this particular juncture, it will be very difficult for me to say so. Mm. You also spoke to some road users. Uh, share with us what they were, they've been telling you. Well, um, apart from those who are complaining about this particular one, you know there's another road from the Senche area to um, Akuse, where you can drive through the, the VRA hydro dam, mm -hmm. the other dam at Akuse. And that road, I think it wasn't initially considered to be part of the roads that could be used by pedestrians when the bridge was closed. Mm. So it was a, a, a late decision that the is, Ghana is, is Highway... Is it this one? Yes, this, this, is the, one. this is the one from Senche to Fojoku, and then you, you, you get to the Akuse Dam. Mm. This one was not actually considered okay. as one of the roads that could be... It was later when the, the traffic started developing at the ferry side that uh, the VRA and the Highway Authority went mm. to that uh, arrangement. So this one is not tarred. It's in a, it's in, now it is gotten, it's in now getting into a bad state mm. currently. It used mm. to be better than this because there weren't, enough, you know, the traffic on it wasn't that heavy mm. those times. But now it, 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 it's gone mm. bad now. Let, let's, let's get a quick reaction from uh, the Ghana Highway Authority. Norbert Kwamo is with the, uh, his PR for the Ghana Highway Authority. Thank you very much, Norbert, for your time. Thank you very much and good morning to your listeners too. Absolutely. Love it. So, uh, has this come to your notice? Hello, go on. I'm asking if this has come to your notice. Hello? Hello, Norbert. Hello? Norbert, I'm asking if uh, the gully and trenches appearing on Hello? the Japan to Senchi Road has come to uh, your uh, notice. The line is gone. Well, I, th I, 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 I think we, we're facing uh, quite a challenge with our phone lines. We'll fix it and then uh, get back uh, on that matter. But uh, Jerry Chatro Mordi uh, is with myjoinline.com, and he did a story from uh, on the St. Chi Road and the various distractions that are on it. So you were telling us some of the things that uh, the road users were, yes, were yes. saying you. Yes, you know, uh, Right to Dream Academy is, is cited on that, um, the untarred road. Mm. And they've mounted a signpost just 
by the roadside because they realized that the, the way the vehicle speed on that road, it mm. was dangerous for the kids. And you could see one in one of the pictures, mm. one, the signpost had been smashed. And, wow. and this is a usual development on that road. I mean, it doesn't matter which part of the day it is. Any, any time you're on that road, vehicles just speed on that, on that lane and uh, it makes it dangerous for, for, for the children around that area. There are, there are, set, there are um, residents who have farms across the road. And mm. these days, some of them are mm. saying that they even fear crossing the road to I their see. farms. Let's yeah. just quickly go back to the telephone and speak with Norbert. Norbert Kwama is PR for the Ghana Highway Authority. Hello, Norbert. No, but Hello, you welcome to the please. program. There is some loud crackling sound on the line. Uh, uh, I can uh, hardly hear you. I see. Let's see. Let's see if we if you can Hello? hear me this time. Hello, Norbert. Hello? Norbert, can you hear me? There is some crackling sound in the background. Very loud. But ca can you hear me at least? Hello. Right, I, I don't think Norbert is, is able to hear me, but um, hopefully when he gets over the telephone, he'll just give us a quick a quick reaction to this, considering we've already had a conversation uh, with him. And um, so so you were saying, uh, you know, the, yes, how the, dangerous the, it had become yes, for... The, because some of them have actually abandoned their farms because they think that it is not safe for them to cross the road uh, to the other side. And then sometimes, you, you know, when you're driving on such roads, it is difficult for you to apply the brakes. So when they see people attempting to cross or even um, cattle crossing mm. and you apply the brake, it throws you off that road. And a number of, you know, uh, accidents have been recorded on the untarred road leading to the Akuse Dam, mm. you know, because of all these things. So I, I, I think that it also brings to fore the kind of preparation that was done by the highway authority mm. before they actually closed the Adomi Bridge. Because the, the current arrangements now... Even these days, the, the, mm. the, the traffic has eased a little on the ferry side, but it is not as smooth as it mm. should be. I, I, I realize in your story, you may mention that, uh, well, uh, that any attempt to skip potholes can throw a vehicle into a gaping uh, into the gaping trenches developing along the road with some eating into one of the lanes. And you say it's a waiting disaster as another heavy rainfall can render it completely cut sure, off. Sure. That bad? It is because um, the Met people have, meteorological agency have warned us that the rains are going to come in very, very heavily. Mm. And the way that area is, um, it is very close to the Volta River or the Volta Lake. Whenever mm. the water rises, I'm, I'm going to have you hold your thoughts okay. just so we don't uh, lose the phone line again. Norbert is back. Norbert Kwamo is PRO for the Ghana Highway Authority. You all come to the program, Norbert. Thank you very much. Mm. No, Norbert, has this come to the notice of the Ghana Highway Authority? Yes, uh, the problem has come to our notice. We are very much aware uh, because uh, just recently we uh, undertook an inspection of the road. Mm. And uh, we notice this problem. The main factor is that the scoring or the erosion of the side of the of the road is due to the absence of drain. And uh, the problem is that we are really facing some financial constraints for the provision of the drain. So we are looking for the money, and as soon as that money is ready, we'll provide the drain. That is not the only section. Uh, all the way from uh, the Accra Day uh, side to Dwapo. All those areas, there have been sections that have been uh, squared or eroded uh, following mm. the uh, massive rainfall that we had. I see. But yes. considering the road has only been used for four months, it's only been in use for four months, is it not sad that we, we, we have it been... Uh, deteriorating this at this pace and at and, and to this level it is, only it is, four months after use yes it is not the road structure which is deteriorated it is the size of the road where we have the edge ditches well, so, from, from the pictures i see concrete, though from the pictures me. i see though no but, uh, the, me, yes. the, the side you're speaking about is eaten yes. into one lane of the road Yes, and I'm saying that it is because of the absence of concrete drain. We have uh, earth drains currently on the road. 
Mm. And following the heavy rain uh, downpour, it is easy for the rain to erode and come into the, the road. Mm. Okay, so that is what is happening. I Not see. that the road has failed. I'm Not that it is poor quality. It is because we don't have the protecting... Mm. I'm going to have you... Rain. I'm going to have you hold the line there. I'm sure yeah. that point has been made. Uh, yeah. th the reporter on this beat is here with me. It is Jerry Chatro Modi. Jerry, you heard him. Yes, um, I, 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 I get him clearly. But there are also potholes that are developing in the middle of the road. Mm. So if he's talking about drains that are not um, available on the site, how mm -hmm. about the potholes that are developing in the road? Well, fortunately, I've also seen he's, that he's there hearing are, you. So. There are attempts to put um, speed ramps on mm. the road. They started and then they left off. Yeah. Mm. And Wait. that attempt is even making it more dangerous because now those small, small marks that they left there are now beginning to you know, expand. Mm. So if you're, and there are no road signs. I didn't see any road any signs. Road sign. there. So, so, so Norbert, let's react to the first Hello? one. The first one has to do with the fact that there are indeed potholes in the middle of the roads, you know, uh, uh, spread across the stretch. And so if it's, it's, a, it's a matter of uh, lack of drains by the side so that the rains do not eat into uh, the road itself. How about the potholes? Four months after use. Yes, the potholes... Uh we have also noticed them, and uh, these are natural occurrences immediately, even once you have reconstructed the road. And you bear with me that the level of the rainfall these days has been very high. With the least crack on the road surface, such a least crack can develop into a pothole, and this is what we have observed. Mm. But at this point that this road is virtually new, it is in the one-year defense liability period, under which period contractor is obligated to remedy any defects or problems that arise on the new road. So the contractor, as I said, mm. will mobilize and go and rectify all these things. But our constraint now is funding for the concrete works, that is the, 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 the drainage works. Mm. That is our constraint now. With the portals, that is not a problem. The contractor can easily go in and rectify these ones. But so I'm, what I'm, we are I'm happy for to the say money for the concrete uh, drain. I'm, I'm happy to say that, well, it's a good thing we signed a good contract with the contractor yes. so that we yes. had a one year liability period. Yes. But then it goes also to say that materials used perhaps were, were, were not of, of, of quality. No, you, you cannot say that. As, as a layman, excuse me to say, to mm. use that word, a lay mm. person. To say that uh, uh, non-specified material was used, we never do that. We are using natural materials that are subject to changes in temperature, in uh, water effects, chemical effects. We try to minimize all these things, mm. such that when we use them according to our specification, the least we can have are some of these small, small problems. Mm. Okay, so it's a natural phenomenon that happens. You cannot have a between us surface which may not have some of these problems but what we have to do is that when these problems come up we have the machinery to rectify them immediately and that is what i'm saying that we have that to be done by the contractor under the defense liability period mm. and you must also know that during the rain, rainy season it is not very advisable to undertake immediate repair works because what you will do immediately the rain comes, it will wash it away, or you will have to redo the whole thing again. It's like standing uh, among a uh, mound of ants and, and, and picking ants. Mm. So you wait mostly at the end of the rainy season when the weather is so good, then you go and rectify all these things. So we will just uh, plead for understanding right. during these periods, these things happen, but it is after this period that we will now. Uh, put our uh, maintenance mechanism. Mm. Let's, in let's move to the other matters raised by Jerry. Uh, he spoke about the fact that the, 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 the contractor had started putting up uh, some speed ramps and incomplete. He, he's not done with the speed ramps and, and it's been left like that. No warning uh, signs on any, anywhere, uh, any, yeah, on any part fact, of the road. Yes, in fact, I am not aware that the contractor has been asked to erect speed ramps on that stretch of the road. Already that stretch of the road is quite heavy. So there may not be the need for any speed ramp. The speed ramp that he may be referring to is 
a steel ramp, ramp erected by the custom division of uh, Ghana Revenue Authority mm. getting towards the Japan end of the road. Mm. And we also doing our inspection, express our reservations about that uh, unauthorized speed ramp because it contributes to the deterioration of the road. The road section there has not been strengthened to take the thumping effect of road, uh, of tide that go over the, the ramp and then go onto the road surface. So you'll find that if there's a problem there, it is because of the illegal ramp which is there, which have been put there by the customs unit of uh, GRA. And we really let them, let them know that last time that it is not good for a road. But and they have to make effort and remove, and remove it. Did you ask them to move them? Yeah, we did. And, and have did. they done that? Well, I have not seen them remove it. If the reporter is saying that it's still there, then it's still there. And uh, uh, this is for the knowledge of them. And uh, we will take it up officially because it is contributing to the deterioration of our road. Oh, oh, Jerry, just quickly, yeah. react to some of the things he said. Okay, for, for the uh, speed ramp that he's saying, mm. I didn't see the speed ramps erected. Mm. But then there are attempts, you could see that there they were tried to, to dig the road. And then the... the the, the, the defect that it caused to the road uh, is now beginning to expand. And that, mm. is, that is causing the destruction to the road. Mm. And then um, with what he's talk, saying that they would have to wait until the rains you know, um, come or uh, after the rains, then they'll go and uh, have to do the defect. How about I mean, do putting something uh, in the short term? Because the way the thing is, is getting, I'm sure if there's another heavy rain in that area, what we're seeing now, one of the lanes will totally be cut off. Mm. Yes. No, Norbert. Yes. You, you had some of the concerns Jerry has raised. I mean, let's start off with uh, the trenches that have been created because the, the contractor attempted to put, put, uh, put a, or raise some speed ramps. Well, as I said, I'm not aware that the contractor is undertaking those works. If it is, then that may be something else. I'm not aware of that yet. Yes. And they are talking about uh, doing something on the portal. Mm. Yes, we can do something now. But as I'm saying, it will be a waste of money. Okay, the rain will come and... Hello, Norbert. ...that may be removed. So well, let's have patience. When the weather is good for that, we will do all this. Mm. In spite of the danger this could pose. It will not pose any danger in the sense that we are not on a free road, sort of. Mm. Look at the vehicles that are parked on this, virtually on, on the side of, 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 the, of, of the, that new road, the Senchi Road, from Accra all the way to Ejuapo, or from Senchi uh, Junction to uh, mm. Senchi Ferry Side. It is quite narrow. Okay. Is, so, is that not what uh, makes it uh, dangerous? The fact and, that and it is narrow. I, yeah, the fact that it is narrow could actually mean it, it is more dangerous, especially no, when vehicles not. try is, to dodge the potholes the, yeah. and then could run into oncoming yeah. ones. It is one of the techniques of controlling safety or accidents on our road. If the road is narrow, what, what? And the, uh, uh, please let me finish. No, I, 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 yeah. needed a clar I needed a clarification on something. What, what is, yeah. what is uh, uh, the way of Kevin? I, I ju you just uh, threw yeah. me off my thoughts. Yeah, pattern, let me explain. But... Yeah, let me explain. If the road is narrow and you are using it and you are aware that it is narrow, you slow down. If an oncoming traffic is coming, you slow down to bypass that traffic. I see. I'm totally, so I'm totally surprised. Yeah. This is news. It is. It right. Is. So uh, we don't foresee any accident occurring that a vehicle is trying to dodge a pothole and therefore the vehicle. Some of this will happen, but it is very, very rare. So it's I a see, technique, I see it's a strategy of improving safety. If the road is narrowed mm. so that you become very cautious in using it. Mm. We'll we, we, we leave it here for now. I'm totally shocked at, at your final submission. Jerry, how about you? I'm no, totally shocked because, I mean, this, this, this thing here is a danger to, 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 to human life. I mean, the next time or any time a vehicle runs into this, trust me, not less than five people are going to, are going to perish there. Oh. Is, it, is it saying that the, the, the money they're trying to save today mm. is, is more than... Well, he, he says it's a way of Kevin, you know, but ma then, making then, the drivers more careful. Then there should be a warning sign there. Currently, <laughs> At least. what is there is that people have dipped a stick and used a cloth, a red cloth to tie it. That is mm. not the Ghana Highway standard. I'm not sure that is the standard that 
um, Ghana Highway Authority is, 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 is talking about. Mm. And we're trying to save money today at the expense of human life. I don't think that explanation, I mean... It, 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 holds, it water holds water at all. No. All right. Thank you very much, Jerry, for your time. Jerry Chetro Modi brought us the story on the distraction and the falling apart of the St. Euro just four months after its use. When I come back, we'll have uh, a few more issues to discuss. We'll talk about the Black Stars' willful defeat. Uh, against the United States of America. We'll talk about whether or not the Chinese yuan is our way or our alternative uh, as far as saving the troubled city is concerned. And today is World Day to combat desertification. Ghana is holding its own program. We'll get into that. This is News Desk. My name is Kemeni Nyamani Amano, and I'll be right back. <laughs>